All right. Well, we're getting our once a week out early. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, sorry for the outage, folks. Um, hopefully... You're back. Uh, that was uh, hopefully our usual once a week nonsense. All I did was try to load a nice map on the screen here. Uh, and look what it got me. Too many things happened at once and OBS crashed. Alright, let's try this. So, I'm gonna reload, reconnect here. Oh look, I can see Jeremy. Player of breath. Alright. Hopefully we're back and the stream is all working again. It's so annoying when it does that. Uh, yes, so what was happening? Uh, oh, that was an experiment as he's trying to fix his intelligence role issue. Um, so, Akiri and Bella, you hear this. Um, Bella, you no, were starting to say something when it crashed. It's Mavra and Bella. What did I say? Akiri. Mavra and Bella, what are you guys doing when you hear this? Did you hear what I said? Yes. yes. Earlier? Okay. Do we see that? Do we see anyone? Or do can like can we see the gray render? Well, you have dark vision. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um you did hear it. Um you uh, you guys can s you guys become aware of where it is through these thick thick trees you guys have camped a little bit ways off the road here okay mm-hmm And I still haven't set up this cart to uh, actually just automatically load with the eggs. But... There you go. Okay. So. You can, you can tell where the gray render is now that it's uh, made its presence known. Alrighty then. So it's staring off into the trees. Um, and going... <laughs> and it backs up toward the cart. Yes, there's always one crash in a Super Commodore stream. That's right, man, post screen name. Yes, we should, we should probably, probably wake everybody, everybody up. up. Or should we just investigate first? See All if right. Actually, like, are they leaving now, do you think? Or. Uh, I'll, I guess I'll I don't know. know. I'll go over to the to the gray render and um, try to look in the direction he's looking, see if I see anything. Okay. Sounds good. You uh, you start walking over there. I should put you guys on the screen. Is what I should do, huh? There's Bella by the fire. Maver, you just stepped over this way. Okay, you guys see the yourselves and everything? Yeah. 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 Okay. You guys, as Mavra, you're you're walking toward the Grey Render, trying to see what it's seeing with its six orange eyes. You guys hear a uh, crash in the bushes right over here. Crash! I'll head, I'll head this, this direction. direction. You go, go that, that direction, direction, I guess. Yeah. Thump. Okay. Um, 
the gray render moves over here. <laughs> and it oh, stomps gonna... right past you, Mavra, shoving you to the side. I'm going to follow. Follow? Yeah, I'm gonna gonna follow him and like to see where where he's looking and going. He's the gray render has circled around to put itself between the noise that you just heard and the cart of eggs. Okay, I'll go around in front of him. Okay. <sighs> His enormous six to eight inch claws hang grasping, ready to slash and, in fact, to rend. Um, you hear, um, a woman shout from a little further away. Come on, bitches! And it kind of You're a talking to us? As of metal oh, clanging. Oh. Yeah, I'm talking to you! Oh, okay. okay. I, the I gray know. render stomps forward. Jeez, I didn't know I was in these woods. Um, if anyone's proficient... That joke proficient, was entirely for my husband's benefit, and he benefited <laughs> greatly from it. If anyone uh, is asleep, has proficiency in perception, you can make a roll with disadvantage to try to wake up if you wish. So wild well, guess what Akiri doesn't have doesn't have a proficiency in. <laughs> uh Bref, you wake up. What? Who's the bitch? What? Uh you're in this That's tent. That's my wife. You're in this tent, Bref, and uh and uh, you wake up as you hear the growling. I grab my sword and step outside. Okay. What do you want? Bitches, you have messed with the angel gang. Now you're going to get the angel slap. Oh, God, it's not these guys. What are you, goblin lovers? She shouts through the trees. <laughs> Six or Not really. Ref, really. there you are. All right, well, I guess we better wake everybody up then. Yeah. Oh, um, Bella, what's your bonus to perception? I believe it's plus four, but let me double check. Yeah, yeah plus, plus four. four. Okay. Um, Bella, and only Bella, you hear several other crunching crunching sounds from near the woman who shouted mm. uh, and another one over here. Alrighty. Uh, I am waking folks up as quickly as possible. Okay. Who do you wake up first? Oh gosh. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. I wake up Neat uh, Bliss first. Bliss, Bliss, we got trouble. Someone's from the angel folk. 
Oh, I thought that we shook those. Okay, give me a second. Mm. Get out of it. Um. You hear a loud whistle uh, from within the trees over here. Come on already! And then there's a stunk. And an arrow, a black shafted arrow appears in the Grey Render's shoulder. <laughs> it rushes forward. <laughs> destroying this tree. Utterly wrecking it to splinters uh, as it charges forward wailing around it with its long claws uh, you hear the woman about to you know yell more uh, stuff at you and she goes oh fuck and she turns <laughs> and uh, she's actually running away from it she's stumbling through the dark in the woods so you can actually tell where she is, uh, except for, well, Breath certainly can't. Um, Mavra, you're having a hard time spotting her. Bella, you know exactly where she is. Uh, Bliss, you're awake. I gotta put you on the map, don't I? Okay. It'll take well, you a, a second or two to, to get your stuff, unless you just roll out of bed. Um, I mean... Bliss would try to put on his armor, but it's light armor, so it doesn't take very long. But that, that'll take me a second. Okay. I don't know uh, how... Well, light armor will take a, a, a minute. Okay. Once, it, once it's on, the first thing he would do is run out and check to make sure the eggs are okay. Okay. Um, all right, so Bliss, is, but it's going to take you a couple rounds to put on your light armor. Okay, um, what are the rest of you doing? I'm waking up the other folks. Alright, so gonna... Kiri... Mm, sorry. No, please go ahead. I'm gonna get my bow out and try to get ready to shoot the next person that I see. Okay. Uh, Breath, you just wake up her, Kiri? Yes. Cool. Akiri's gonna wake up, rubberize. Okay. Get outside. She's rubberized now. All right. She stumbles outside. Um. Vapos uh, still asleep, I guess. But uh, uh, everybody, make a perception roll. Given the level of activity that's happening now, can I try to wake up on my yes, own? Yes, that included you. Everybody included okay. you, Vapos. Okay. Uh, cool. But you're rolling for something different, so I should have called that out. Okay, Vapos, you 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 wake up from all the noise. Um, but perhaps most importantly of all, ah, what the hell? I didn't even know that was possible. Max, we all know it's entirely possible for you to roll a 2 and a d20 on any given day. <laughs> that was a roll with advantage for stealth. As you see this guy near the cart. Uh... You, um... Are all aware of him, except Vapos, who just woke up. <laughs> and Mavra, who's too focused on uh, the splinters flying in her face. Hey, I, I would like to rush to a position where I can see him and shoot him. Okay, roll initiative. All right. It's the final. Yeah, all of us are just. Mm -hmm. Bella for the moment. Oh, never mind. Um. Well, it would be unfair of me to do it that way. All right, you can all roll. 
If you wish. I forgot. To, I got really excited and forgot to click a carry first. That's okay. I see you got an 18. Thank you. Do I still have my 2 MP HP for the adventuring? Yes. Uh, Max, I'm not on the... Oh, you're not on the map. Yeah. We'll say you were on one of the open bed rolls. Okay. Breath just ran right by you. <laughs> Apparently. Um, I think I, I think still, I still have, have to roll this at disadvantage because I've still got a level of exhaustion. Because I didn't get any sleep when we were at the Goblin Tower. Last night you didn't get any sleep. Now you still aren't getting any sleep. Poor Vapos. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, so seven, seven is the worst roll. Okay. Um. And I'm sorry, Max. Could you add me real quick? Oh, I didn't add you? Oh, I gotta add your turn to you. Thanks. Okay. Before, uh, so Bella, you turn, knocking an arrow to your bow, ready to shoot this guy. Um, Bella, you have, uh, this is triggering your ready to action. So you actually get to do that, Bella. Um, but you have a very bad shot at this guy because he's behind the tent. Yeah. And through the cart as well. So it's at disadvantage for sure. Oh my <laughs> god. That was a painful disadvantage. Ah, <laughs> uh, but you still hit him. That's 13 damage. That would have been an amazing moment to get a crit. Ah. Uh, Isn't that oh well. 16? No. Yeah, that's 16. Oh, is right. It? Six, no. no. Six, six plus six, six is... Six plus six, six is 12, 12 plus, plus one is 13. 13. Okay. Wait, would it be... Which roll is it counting it for? For the 21. But I thought right? that one well, did two different kinds of damage. Yeah, no, I think it's um, the, 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 the numbers that are the plus. Are for the crit, yeah. Are for the yeah, crit. Right. But the yeah, other so it's nine, nine plus seven. Yeah, it's nine plus seven, so it's 16 points of damage. Oh, so okay. you nearly kill this guy in one shot. He lets out a breath. <laughs> he coughs up blood and he turns. Um, he's at the top of the initiative and he tries to book it back toward the uh, back toward the cover of trees. So he's stumbling and um, it's going to be, uh, he's going to try and, and slip away under cover of darkness. Um, okay. Um, so for those of you who don't have dark vision, um, <clears throat> he, he is out of the light, so it's hard for you to spot him. Um, those of you who do have dark vision, you can still see him, although he's obscured by boulders and bushes. Um, also, Mavra and Akiri, actually just Mavra at the moment. Mavra you, what's your wisdom? Um, my wisdom is 
13? 14. 14? Maver, yes. you notice that one of the eggs is missing. Akiri, it's your turn. All right, so... One second. Akiri realizes she can't see anything, so... Not out of the circle of firelight. Not out of the circle of firelight, so she's gonna whip around. Look at the... Whip around, enter the fire, and then... With a thought, she says... Daylight! Ooh, shit! Nice! And cast Daylight. Oh, so that's 60 of. feet... A 60 foot radius of regular light, and then another 60 feet on top of that of dim light. Pew! Pew! <laughs> so you're <just> like, <laughs> boom! Yep. Everything's lit the fuck up. Okay, so it's now very bright. What was the. Okay. what In what area? In a big area. Yeah, so starting at the fire, like the middle of the fire, we'll say that square. And the fire, starting from the fire? Yeah. Okay, you guys are suddenly aware and that's... that uh, there's all these people who have been hiding in the woods. Because uh, you can now see them clearly. And uh, they yell and scatter. And um, and uh, there's chaos and the 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 gray render roars. Okay. Uh, so yeah, amazing. we can see everything, pretty much everything on this map. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so you can see... Um, hmm. Okay. Um... trying to decide well okay um at the start of each of your turns i will give you a perception roll to spot who's carrying the egg which is not easy to tell in this chaos cool. the missing egg that is so i think Akiri, at the start of is, our turns mm -hmm. Akiri, is that oh. the end of your turn um, yeah, unless I can get a perception roll for it. Okay, go for it. Uh, sorry, I jumped the gun a bit. It's okay. No, you're fine. The, the really eggs are pretty huge, egg, right? Didn't they take, like, two hands to carry? Oh, come on! Correct. Yeah, they're Corey. huge. Okay. But it's very chaotic here. And sure. the light is crazy. Okay. Um. Okay. Akiri, you can see that uh, the egg is over here being carried by this guy. Akiri's gonna point and yell. Over there! Yeah, it's the guy over there! So I didn't see a ping. I didn't see a ping. Who, who has it? Upper right. Like far upper right. Okay. No, I'm pinging him. He has an egg on him. Mm-hmm. Okay. I see. Ref's turn. Hey. You know, I was thinking of being merciful to these people for interrupting our fine night's sleep. 
But then, for no reason whatsoever, they decided to attack our large gray friend. So, fuck them. I'm gonna run over to this guy. Hot buddy. And I'm uh, just gonna take a couple swings at him with a reckless attack. He says... Uh, oh wait, sorry. Bonus action rage first, then reckless attack. Okay. He holds up his two small swords, short swords, as uh, defense. I don't think it's going to help. A defense that you smash through and kill him in one hit. As he's already been punctured by an arrow from Bella. Oh, yeah. And that will conclude my turn. I like that you did 30 damage with that first hit. Boom. Yeah. It's impressive. The barbarian strikes and slays. High-level barbarians are just chef's guess. Or uh, higher level. There's screaming and shouting. Okay. Uh, Bella's turn. I see the woman who's been shouting at me. You can, but I must warn you guys. Yeah, go ahead. I must warn you guys that the guy with the egg is about to leap over a ridge and be lost in the night. Yeah. He got pretty far before uh, before someone was spotted. True. But you can you can do whatever you like, Bella. Move up toward him and shoot. One, two, three, six. And I will try to shoot him. Okay. You don't have disadvantage because uh, it's lit up like daylight here. Well, that's a 24. A hit for 16 damage. 16 damage. <laughs> Just like the other guy, he stumbles, doesn't quite fall, but he the arrow is lodged in his back. He's still holding the precious wyvern egg. Anything else, Bella? I think that's it. Okay. Uh, you don't want to cast a spell, do you? Or is that not even active right now? I think it's active right now. Mavra's turn. Okay, I'm going to click my boots together and dash to next to the guy with the egg. Okay, so once you leave right the here. area of the circle of the camp here, it's all difficult terrain. Okay. So um, past, past, I'll draw a circle. So past this line, everything's difficult terrain. So it costs double move. Yeah, this will yeah, take some more math. <laughs> You're, sorry, you're stumbling through, you know, over rocks and roots. I mean, you can see in the dark, but, um, you know, it's still difficult. You can go right, I'm going to ping it. Oh, give me a second. Let me go back to my select tool. You can get right here, I think. Here? Yeah. I think, I think this, this is where I would end up in. Well, dang it. Oh, well, that's, that's my turn. Lightning fast dwarf goes rushing past you guys. Just short. Get it? Um, <laughs> <laughs> one point of damage to the dungeon master. Uh, one point of psychic. Bad. Uh, uh, if that's the end of Maver's turn, then bliss. All right, can I please say that? When Akiri said he has the egg, Bliss would at least have po hit, poked his head out the, the 
the tent and look to see that. Yeah, you've got, you're like half dressed. You've got like half your makeup on. You're not quite there yet. Okay. Can I? Okay. So, um, Bliss is going to dash, do a dash action to get us, to get very close, as close as he can. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Here it's difficult to wait terrain, so it'd be 50, 60. I think that's close enough. All right, and as a bonus action, I will use Mantle of Majesty and cast Command on the guy that has the egg. And the and um, the way it looks when Bliss does this is instead of being um, enchanting and seductive, he looks. Be again, the Galadriel effect. He looks beautiful, but it's fucking terrifying. Okay. He, he looks as uh, the most demonic, the most fiendish he's ever looked in this moment. And I'll just put the, the text for command in the chat so you can see it. Okay. Uh, he has to make a, I believe it's a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, he has to make a wisdom saving throw. And what Bliss is telling him is to come. Well, does he have a negative to this or anything? Does your does he your guy? Does you does mantle of majesty apply something like no? Okay. No. no. All right, you tell um, him come with your fiendish magic, and the guy is like nope. And he continues then I'm, running through the woods with the arrow no, back. No, not, not yet because I'm going to activate choker of the Fey beloved. Three char uh yeah, yeah three, three charges, charges so, so he has, has to reroll that. Oh shit. This is the first time you've used that, am I right? Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very cool. This, this guy, guy is, is not, not fucking getting away with my baby. I need to make you a card for that. I owe you a card for that, I think. Uh yeah, guys. The giant uh, the the choker that that Bliss wears with the large gem glows with this eerie green uh, magic, and light spreads out from it, but more so, more strongly. All of you suddenly smell a perfume, a, a, a one of those heady, almost makes you drunk perfumes. And there's this there's this music on the air. You feel like your 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 senses are on fire with some emotion that you can't quite put a name to. You feel very attracted to bliss for a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and re-roll that. Let's see what happens. Okay, what is the DC? Bliss? Mm hmm What's the DC? 16. 16? Yes. yes. Okay. He turns around and says, well, Yes, my love. I believe I believe the way this works is on his turn, he just has to move his movement towards me and then stop and then just end his turn. Okay. All right. As a bit of drool hangs out of that guy's mouth, it's Vapos' turn. All right. Um, Vapos is still a little disoriented because he just woke up. And he, had, he doesn't know specifically the details of what's going on, but he knows that an egg got stolen, and it seems like it's being handled. So he is going to uh, move over towards the wagon to keep an eye on the second egg for the moment and okay. uh he's just gonna or he's just gonna prepare to attack anybody that comes too close okay all right so vapo stands blinking at the ready uh, blinking the sleep from his eyes all right 
Got it. Thank you, Bliss. Okay. Boo Radley, the render, turns. And crashes through the forest. Uh, it's yellow orange eyes taking in Vapos' presence, but it's roaring as it charges, smashing this tree as well as it leaves a path of destruction behind it. I'm so glad this thing is on our side. Vapos, from your point of view, it looks like this tree suddenly grows claws that come through it and then scythe through Wolverine style. Before it bursts through. Okay, Vapos gulps a little bit. <laughs> Um, let's see. No, uh, what? So this guy is just heard his companion say, Yes, my love. And he's looking at him like, What? What are you talking about? And uh, looking more than a bit alarmed, he's going to move up behind that guy, crunching through the trees and the underbrush. And he's going to hold out his dagger. And he says, Stay back, Morph! But he looks more than likely going to run. Half a, like he's got half a mind to run. He stands ready there. Um, this guy over here. Gonna run there. You guys can see this easily now that you you know you have bright light. Um, oh no, this guy's not running toward the gray render. That's not what he's doing. He is. Uh, oh yes, the archer. Yes, the archer that shot the gray render is going to try to shoot him again. Actually, he's going to shoot Akiri, but he will not hit her. You, you mean he's going to try to shoot Akiri? <laughs> He tries. Uh, you hear the woman shouting over here. Come on, you cowards! And another clang of metal on metal. Okay. Uh, toward the road, which is to the south, you guys can hear horses stamping and snorting. Akiri, it's your turn. Akiri has half a mind to go after the gal down there, but there is an egg to be saved. So, she's going to... Wait, did I just uh, forget to have the guy with the egg do his thing? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, that's supposed to happen right now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he... Walks toward Bliss. Does it say a full move? Yeah. It says the target moves toward you by the shortest and most direct route, ending its turn if it moves within five feet of you. Okay. I don't know if that means that if he doesn't get within five feet of me, if he can do something else, but... So this guy walks up right next to you, holding the egg, Mavra. Like he is enchanted because he is. Okay, Akiri, what are you doing? Well, never mind. That situation looks handled. <laughs> Akiri's gonna spin around and she can see this gal, right? Yep. Cool. Akiri's gonna light her up with a guiding bolt. Okay. Does 
Does a 16 hit? It does not. It strikes one of the tree branches along the way. Destroying it. Uh, Kiri mutters something very unclericky under her breath. Okay. Anything else? Nah. Breath. Right, I think it's time to do a good old fashioned murder. Uh, da -dum, 5, 10, 15. Oh, wait, no, wait. 10, 20, 30, 40. There we go. And then I'm just going to go ahead and attack, and I'm not going to attack recklessly because I don't have to. The good All right. Mavra, Mavra you flank. provide flanking. Does an 18 hit? It does. Does a 33 damage murderize him? <laughs> oh, yes. His, uh, his, what are you aiming for on his body? His head? Doesn't matter. You hit his head. Uh, it is separated from his shoulders. Ah! The egg goes flying. Mavra, make a dexterity saving throw. If you want to catch it. <laughs> Behold, vorpal breath. Oh. oh Yikes. Can anyone give her a reroll? Carry good. Nothing to help. I don't think I can give I don't think inspiration is a reaction. Nope. Nah, I don't think I have anything. Give me three seconds. I don't think it's active, Akiri. Oh, does it? Never mind then. I don't. I don't mean I don't keep track of uh, your powers, but I suspect. Yeah, it probably isn't at this point. Dang it! Sorry. Okay, who wants to roll a d6 for the damage to the egg? I'll do it. Oh, <laughs> the egg goes. And you hear a kind of a slight crunch, but it does not break open. Focus the power of the dolphin into the egg. An attempt to seal up those cracks. Because it's still your turn. Nice. I think that's a bonus action. I'll double check. I believe it is. I believe it is. Bonus action. Okay, Breath, uh, you heal the egg, and I uh, took some damage, but then it's healed. Nice. That will end Okay. Um, Bella, your turn. Alright, I am going to... I really don't want that woman to get away. The by the way, the egg has the eggs have three HP each. I'm going to run this direction again. Two. And I am going to shoot this woman. This okay. one. That's a 14, won't hit. A 14 will not hit, no. <clears throat> oh, well. She still has a tree between you and her. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's the end of my turn. Funk. Mavra, uh, you missed your grab, but the egg still landed like halfway on your, uh, on your, on your shoes. So it only, you know, it wasn't damaged and you, you know, you, you managed to, you didn't manage to catch it, but it's still like, lo it just still, you know, it only rolled a two, so it didn't, it didn't crack open. Can I grab it and go back towards the cart with it? You absolutely can. Okay, that's what I do. All right, you do that. I think this is where I would end up. Okay, very cool. Maybe you refresh your inspiration for me. All right. 
And Yubra hugs the egg close. Bliss, your turn. Okay, um, Bliss is a very angry devil boy. And, um, so the guy, uh, um, Breath killed, killed the guy who had the egg, right? Yep. And we can pretty much see everybody, right? Pretty much. Including... Well, you think. Sure. Okay. Uh, let me see how far people are. Uh, um, I think Bliss will... Um... Look at the guy in the top right. Let me check the... Yep, yep, that's fine. Bliss will look at the guy in the top right, and he will whisper some angry, an angry song of vengeance and death into his ear and cast dissonant whispers. Okay. Oh, I can cast, I can upcast dissonant whispers? Well, that's exciting. I'm going to cast it at level three. Okay. All right. I'm saving throw, but he rolled an 18. Yep. Thank you for being. Uh, thank you. Yes. Good job. Unfortunately, well, he, he will make the save. He he may, he then he'll take six psychic damage, okay. and that's all. All right. And um, that'll be all, I believe. He's like ah. And he cuts at the darkness with his dagger. Are we losing Danielle? Yes. Okay. Good night, Danielle. If we don't night, see you night. Night. again soon, that was uh, awesome uh, moments with Mavra, and we look forward to more. Yep, hopefully soon. <laughs> hopefully soon. All right. Vapos, what do you want to do? All right, uh, Vapos is going to look and see that uh, Mavra is bringing an egg back, uh, and assume that she's or she's probably got this situation under control. So he's going to go hunting, um, and uh, you know what? He's he's going to live a little dangerously here. Um, He's going to activate Step of the Wind so that he can dash as a bonus action and it doubles his jump distances. And we're dealing with the fact that we've got some dangerous terrain right here. Uh, so what I would like to do uh, is, and please tell me if this is, or if this is too exalted, um, but what I would like to do is I would like to jump onto the gray renders back run or or run a couple steps across it and then jump towards or or jump towards uh this guy here sort of like that well if you fail your uh acrobatics check then you will fall on your butt so okay give it a shot that is a 13. and that is a fail <laughs> Okay. Um, so you're going to try to <laughs> jump up on the gray render. It's going to go yep. and swipe at you. <laughs> you will duck the claws, but then land back down with your movement expended. Okay. Um, that's, that's fair. fair. Uh, yeah. yeah. So then yeah, I'm, I'm going to, or I'm going to. His The surface of his skin is bumpy, yet slippery. Okay. Um, all right, then I'm gonna dash, uh, spend half my movement to get back up, and then I'm gonna go another, um, I guess I would only have 20 feet of movement left, and so in difficult terrain, I'm gonna go another 10 feet down this direction. Okay. Um, and that was my bonus action dash, so I'll, I'll use my regular action to dash again and go another 20 feet. All right towards this guy. Major flare points though. I think we should, I think you should get an inspiration for that. Thank, Thank you. you. Refreshed. <laughs> Part of that was tell me if this is too exalted. 
Yes. Uh, my turn. All right. Uh, Exalted, folks, is a different RPG that uh, these guys play, and I have played, where that sort of wushu madness is normal. Um, okay. With that as the end of Vapos's turn, the Gray Render. Uh, oh man, we just lost Mavra. But the Gray Render is going to reach down, gently pick up Mavra and the egg in its claws, and deposit the both of them in the cart. Based on what Mavra said off mic, she would uh, be totally on board with that. I I imagine so. Just scooped up and gently placed by a very large. It's like this huge cage of of eight inch claws. Uh, so Mavra gets deposited in a soft bed of moss, and it croons with the dark ichor leaking from the arrow wound in its shoulder. At this point. Uh, the Angel Gang members say, That's all, folks. Give it up! We are betrayed! And they just hightail it out of there. So this guy disappears over the ridge. This guy's on the edge of the ridge, about to jump over. This guy's heading back toward the road where you've heard their horses. That's Bella. And so does the insulting lady. Just on the edge of the map. Um, as they retreat, they are getting out of the range of the light. You have to concentrate on daylight? Yeah, you said it's 60 feet, right? Daylight is 60 uh, feet. 60 feet for bright light, and then another 60 feet after that for dim light. Dim. Okay. So is that guy in the dim light? Oh man, he barely is, isn't he? Is this map using the correct measuring? Yes. Oh my god, okay, so you can still barely make them out, technically. <laughs> so it's a dim light, but you can see them. Do you guys want to let them run? Say yes. This, this does not. If really? The of, if the rest of the party does, that's fine, but Bliss is... Bliss is looking to send a message. What do you want to do, Bliss? Um, if no one else is doing anything, Bliss is going to command this guy in the top right to approach, to come towards him. And he's going to start walking in towards him as well. To, 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 to him. Okay. He's out of range, I think. No? Uh, oh, uh, this would move closer. So 10, 20... 15? 30. Yeah. 30. Oh my god, so that barely gets him. I see. I see. Okay. Got it. He'll have to make a... He fails. Mm-hmm. So I'm telling him to come closer and Bliss, Bliss is still... is, is, is gonna keep walking towards him because he's... he's he, again, he wants to send a message. Is anybody else doing anything? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah Vapo still, still has, has no, no idea, idea who these people are or what what they wanted beyond just stealing an egg, and so he's going to want to try to capture one. Okay. I, oh, I see. Okay, so on Vapos's turn, what does he do? Yeah, so uh, he will activate Step of the Wind again to be able to dash as a bonus action, mm -hmm. and with it being... Uh, or with it being difficult terrain out here, that gives him just enough movement to get up behind this guy. Oh, I see. So you come yep. crashing through the roots and the bushes and everything. Exactly, and I'm going to try to grapple him. 
You had an action left after after yep. that? Yep. With, 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 with Step, step of, the of the Wind dashing as well. These high mobility monks. Yep. <laughs> All right. Make a uh, 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 an athletics check. Or what is it again? A melee, it's I, a melee I, attack roll. Yeah, I think it's a melee attack roll. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a 26 to hit. Oh, goodness. You grab him. Can you uh, imagine this is guy? Any, is anybody else doing anything? Uh, Makiri is going to go over to the gray render. Yeah. And uh, check him out real quick. Okay. See what. Hey. All right. So then, in no. that case, unless somebody stops me, um, the lady with the two axes runs off. I'm disappointed we lost her. Escapes. But... Uh. I I just, I just don't, don't want to kill, kill, kill people as they're running away from me. Mm -hmm. This guy says, Yes, my love, my darling. And struggles through the thick underbrush towards Bliss. Where he catches himself. Like, what the hell am I doing? But it's too late. Uh, oh, he has to he has to spend his turn doing Does he have to spend his action doing that? I'm really confused about whether Command makes them use their action or not. So here's here's all it says. The target moves towards you by the shortest and most direct route, ending its turn if it moves within five feet of you. So I guess it's your call, Max. How this I miss happens. I miss three fives clarity. Yeah, um, command command is kind of dependent on how the target interprets the one word. Right. So he dashes toward Bliss, and then is like, "Wait, what did I just do?" But it's too late. He's already moved. Uh, the guy turns toward you, Vapos, and he says, he, the archer, um, he's struggling with you, and he says, get off of me, you blue freak! And he tries to shove you away. Make an opposed... Oh, no, no. He has At to this just... point, they think it is an athletics check. It's an I don't think it is opposed check. anymore. I think he no? just tries to beat your AC or something. Oh, God. The grapple rules are like, in every edition, you get just... Completely, they're terrible in every It's about 3.5, but not by much. Strength, contest. Okay, so make your strength ath athletics check, Vapos. Okay. And unfortunately, I am still getting disadvantage on this. Because you're tired. Yep. yep. So that's only oh, a six. Oh, bummer. <laughs> uh, he will just because of your weariness well actually even without it he proves a surprisingly strong opponent he twists and he writhes um, and he escapes your grasp and you hear him mount a horse just out of sight on the road and um, that just leaves us with what is Bliss going to do with this other guy I think when I see him coming back through the woods, mm. I would probably, let's see, I could get here, kind of come up behind him if he tries to run. Okay. Is it my turn then? Yes. Okay. Um, how do I want to play this? Uh, I've been trying to think about how I want to do this. I think Bliss will cast Hold Person on this guy and move as close to him as he can get. So I'm going to go ahead and cast Hold Person. He succeeds. Damn it. Okay. Um... Okay, um, because Bliss, Bliss will then move 5, 10, 15, no, it's, only, it's 10, 20, 30, so I can't get up right up on him yet. Well, I guess, no, that was my action, so I can't, okay, yeah, Bliss will just give me, I, I can't hold the button to talk and also move at the same time, so I'm just going to move him really quick. Okay. Moves there, and he is just... Um, 
he's not saying anything yet. He's just he still has the mental of majesty effect on. So even though he hasn't he's not using command again, he's he still looks like this terrifying beauty, beautiful. And he is stare he is glaring monster daggers at this guy. Um, he, he, there is nothing but murder and hatred in Bliss's eyes right now, so... Just hmm. for flavor. The Grey Render comes charging up, sh showering you in splinters. Akira's right behind, just like, no, hold still! <laughs> Trying to heal him up. Yeah, it's just, there's an arrow in your shoulder, pick your... All right, we can act out of round. Well, what do you guys want to do with this guy? He'll he'll try to run away, I guess. Um, he, uh, Breath, do you want to take an attack opportunity as he runs? I sure do. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry to steal your thunder there, Bliss. The man turns, he runs, and then lets out one final scream as you cleave through him with your runic blade. Spattering the ground with blood, his legs run on a few more steps while the rest of him falls behind. Dead. And that is that, folks. Okay. So we have all we have a few dead bodies now. I think what Bliss is going to do is spend the next few minutes using their blood to write messages on the trees saying leave us alone over multiple trees in these people's blood. Jesus Christ. In fact, I don't know, I, I, I don't know if this needs to be like an intimidation roll or something, but like Bliss is, is, is with every, Bliss is in trying to impress on these um, angel gang guys to not come after us anymore. Also, it sounded like there were horses down by the road, so if anyone wants to check that out. We should check them. Vapos will... What? Uh, you all will hear this, but Vapos can glimpse them galloping off down the road. Yeah, yeah Vapos, Vapos is going to go further towards the road to investigate, uh, uh -huh. especially since he knows there was at least one of them dead. He wants to check to see if there were any, any horses that got left behind. Uh, you will get there just in time to see these highly mobile warriors um, disappearing around the uh, bend with their the riderless horses in tow. All right, then yeah, Vapos will head back to camp as quickly as he can, and just in case the others didn't get the memo. And there might still be some combat going on. Got it. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, after uh, leaving messages, Bliss is, Bliss is definitely going to go sit on the cart and curl up the eggs. Okay. Yeah, so, so Vapos is going to come back, see this message that's been written on the trees. And he's just gonna or he's just gonna kind of look around at everybody and say, Um Is everyone alright? I'm not quite sure what just happened. It was that angel gang, the one that's been following us ever since the goblin town? Ah, I they see. were trying to murder the Grey Render. Yeah, I think they wanted the eggs. As Zakiri is still... Is still... Um, tending to the Render. Rending that, to the Tender. 
I suppose that does make tonight's events make a bit more sense. Well, I or er, they seem to be gone now. They or er, they they took off on horseback, and they brought the riderless horses with them. So I suspect we won't be hearing anything more from them tonight. No, I don't think so. I think tomorrow we should definitely not have a fire. Just to make it a little bit di more difficult for them to find us. There it is. Leave us alone. Amazing. Uh, I think you would actually have written the messages near the bodies. So let me move this. Like, near this guy. Let me pick up the blood. We're gonna move the blood over. <laughs> With these words written on the trees in blood all about the dead bodies that you guys leave lying around. Something tickles within you, Breath. And you hear a quiet voice in your head. Your, your spooky voice made you cut out. Yes. Alright. I keep See, telling I you, you're not my dad. Just leave me alone. Of course. Good night. You guys notice the mark on Breff's forehead is particularly prominent as he's looking at the markings on the trees. Mm -hmm. uh, Bliss. Yes. Can you go into your character sheet and put an asterisk next to your alignment for me, please? <laughs> yes, and I will change it. I will change it from what Emmy has put. What did? Oh yeah, that's right. Hundred gold, a hundred gold. Thank you. There is now an asterisk. Next to hundred gold, a hundred gold. <laughs> no, I change it. To, I can change it to chaotic neutral. It was very funny, baby. Okay. Interesting. Um, once that guy's dead, its claws uh, unsatisfied, the, the gray render will go back to making sure that all is well with the eggs. And it covers anyone in the cart with more bits of warm moss and... Uh, leaves gathered from a roundabout during the course of the night. That is the... Oh, you heal it up. <laughs> the monstrous thing does its groan at you, Akiri. Guys, you feel she like you've it. barely oh, rested. I'm sorry, go ahead, Akiri. Oh, I was gonna say, she's gonna, like, pat him on the whatever bicep or calf or something that whatever's closest. Got it. Um <clears throat> It does not return the favor with its enormous claws. That's probably, That's probably for the best. Folks, do you try to go back to sleep? Vapos definitely does. He's exhausted. Bliss, Bliss does, but he's going to be sleeping with the eggs. He's going to get the big, heavy blanket, if we still have that, and put it over him and the eggs and sleep on the, on the wagon. Well, it's about an hour till sunrise at this point. I was going to say it might not be worth going back to sleep, just because, like, yeah, it's pretty early in the morning. It's not, like, crazy early. 
We could sleep in. You do your breathing exercises, Vapos, and manage to go back to sleep, but it's really not enough. And by the time the next day dawns, folks, you feel like you've barely shut your eyes before they are pierced by the outdoor sun. Uh, you have hardly rested at all. Uh, your, your, your rest was severely interrupted. So I'm afraid that everyone is going to have to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Akiri, please. And just Akiri. Akiri, please mark down that you have a level of exhaustion. Now, one level of exhaustion will apply disadvantage to ability checks, so skill checks and the like. Not saves. Is a 15 enough for me to recover my one level of exhaustion, or does it stay? Uh, no, you certainly didn't recover anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, but you, you don't get worse. Okay. So. Tuckered out, but alive. Relatively unharmed. And still in possession of both of your eggs, you guys are now awake. Um, and it is the next day. What would you like to do with this day? It is the 23rd of man. I'm gonna make a quick suggestion. Um, this is also a curious suggestion too. Um, but I think we should travel for a couple hours and then, because I don't know, we're going into a fight at 11.08, right? <laughs> I think we should, like, take a break, travel a couple hours, get close to where we're trying to go, then take a break, do a long rest, sleep, just kind of chill for a day, or until, like, yeah, and chill for a little bit, and then go in to this fight, like, ready. I agree. I think we should find a spot that is far away from this camp so that if they come back to check, we don't run into them again, but is not a full travel to another hex. I think we, I, I agree. I think we should just spend the day to rest because we have two people with exhaustion now. I agree. It's time to find a nice, secluded, easily defensible location and bunker down. Yeah. I'm sorry to be putting a burden on everyone. I, I, I'm just so tired. Well, for once, Vapos, the people that attacked us were not coming after you. So I don't think it really was your fault this time. Nope. And she's not at all. He was gonna go over and like kind of bonk her head into him. I'm so sleepy too. Okay. So you guys are going to stay in your camp? Well, we're going to travel a, a couple hours away, find a good spot to, to bunker down, and then just rest. So we're not we're not we're, we're 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 not going far enough to go into the next hex. We're just trying to get away from this campsite so that if the gang comes back to check, we're not there anymore. Okay. So you're going to, you're going to go, are you going to go further southeast, I guess is my question. Yeah, we're going to keep heading in the direction that we're trying to go. Okay. But uh, we're just going to do like four, maybe, maybe five hours of travel. Okay. And, so you guys um, climb higher into the, out. well, four or five hours is, is pretty long. It's uh, like half a day. Yeah. Um, okay. You try to All find right. a cave so the daylight doesn't keep us up. All right. Yeah, nice. Who wants to make an exploration check to find a new, better spot? I will. All right, one temp HP for you guys. You did not get the benefit of a long rest, so no heelsies. Um, you do lose your previous temp HP at this time. 
Um, and uh, no refreshing of spells or, or abilities. I assume that would be a survival check. Except for your items, they, they do refresh. Not. Um, you want to make a survival check to look for uh, uh, another campsite? Go for it. Yeah. All right. Well, it's another spot um, a little off the road, uh, just further up into the mountains. Uh, you guys can see that f to the southeast there are even taller mountains puncturing the clouds covered in trees. Okay, you make new camp and you begin spending the rest of the day resting. Uh, you did have disadvantage on that survival check because you're exhausted. But... Um, Actually, yeah. Um, that was actually a failure. <laughs> I just realized. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Uh, so you guys only need one check mark before you get three fails. So Akiri, uh, you're weary, and you 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 are searching around for a campsite. And you just can't find any place. It's all these switchback roads and rocks and uh, thick forest and none of it looks particularly nice to make any kind of a camp in. I try using investigation to find a, find a good place. Investigation. Um, well, I don't you want to sell me on that. I don't see how it applies here. <laughs> Maybe I find a deer trail and have it lead me to a deer nest that's been abandoned. You're going to investigate a deer trail? Okay, go for it. Yeah. yeah. All right. One temp HP for you. 21. That's better. Okay, you guys find a deer nest to camp in. So it smells like deer droppings, but is very comfortable. I did my best. A nice we, change. We have smelled a lot worse. Isn't that, Isn't that the, the truth? truth? Okay. You guys start resting. We probably, probably still need to set up a watch again. Yeah. I think so, since Bliss got the most, one of, one of the two people that got the most sleep last night, he will take the first watch again. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Yes, absolutely. Sure. You guys make perception rolls. Um, what are the rest of you guys doing? Sleeping. Yeah, Vapos is sleeping too. Bliss is wired. What about you? Yeah, I'll say. What a rush. Bella, what are you doing? I'd like to take this opportunity to pull out my bow and have a conversation with it. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to wake him up and I'm going to tell him um, that due to a variety of circumstances, I need to get in touch with the muse as quickly as possible and I want him to tell me how to do it. And a good afternoon to you too, says Vidani Kithrath from within the bow. His spirit singing out. So glad I can help you with this. So, you wish to speak to the muse herself? Yes, yes. as quickly as, as possible. possible. The lady of many arts and artifices. Indeed. Of course you do. Wouldn't we all like to call the muse and bid her leave at will? 
Well, my understanding is that as a great bard, you have a more than usually close relationship with her. That is true. Until you remember, I am cursed to dwell within this bow. Yes, well, I do remember that. Until my revenge, my great enemy, doth know. Yes. I still thought you might possibly be able to give me some pointers. Since you're the only person I know who could really help me with this. Where are you having this conversation? I mean, I guess I'll go a little ways away from the camp so I don't disturb the sleeping people. Okay. But anyone observing you will notice that you're talking to your bow. Yeah, I, I, I guess so. He says, I understand your desire. The passion for art that drives you and burns you like fire. Of course. The muse must come to you in a dream for Oniros to talk to you. You must visit her in her realm. Well, I guess I have to wait for her to reach out to me then. You must make a great work. Right. I will sing to you each night. It will take at least a week and maybe longer. You will dream each night a different dream of dreamland. And on the last night, you will visit her in her realm, her secret realm. faraway place that makes no sense. But all great art stems from thence. I see. Thank you for doing that for me. It really goes above and beyond the call of duty. I know that you will keep your word and release me from this curse. Absolutely. So that I once again can move the stars with the beauty of my song and verse. Definitely on the to-do list. Well, at least I'm on the list. <laughs> Our poor list that's growing steadily longer. Well, if that's all there is to it, then I'll go back and go to sleep as well. You go to sleep? Yeah. Hmm. Do you want him to start singing you to sleep? Sure. Get this process going. So you, so in game terms, you must create a great work. Yeah. In order to achieve this, as well as getting someone to sleep by him, which is going to help. Yeah, but he said that he was going to take me every night. He was going to take me to the land of dreams which is where great works come from. So I figure if I get one night's sleep in, then maybe I'll be inspired to create a work the next day. Mm -hmm. um, you have to 
to, to create a great work, you must demonstrate a mastery of your craft. So in pure game terms, in pure gamist terms, you have to hit a DC of 30 on wow. something in your in your field, a performance of some kind. Gotcha. Okay, okay. That, that is intense. intense. But I have to try. Okay. He sings you to sleep and you guys rest on through that day. Uh, there's no need for you to build a fire until the sun sets. But once the sun sets, do you build a fire? Last night, I would vote against it. Yeah, I agree. Bliss is fine with that. Okay. Um... Nothing for his watch? Nothing happens during your guy's watch. Just the mountain animals running about. Squirrels coming close to see if you've dropped any crumbs. Uh, who snores? Whoever snores is snoring. <laughs> So occasionally you guys might wake up and have that daytime, like, sleep disorientation. But the day passes fairly uneventfully as you guys stay there, stay put. No sign of any riders on the road. Um, I think... <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. Sorry, I got distracted by fake was. Um, I think that evening after Akiri kind of wakes up after her very nice long nap, um, but before like kind of like dinner time, um, she's gonna pull out the tree or the the seed from her from her bag that was given to her as a gift, and she's gonna look at it real close.